Good evening everyone. Please ignore the neck of me. I've just pulled my hair out of a bun. Never dried it today so it's all over the place and I don't have any makeup on and plenty spots. But I'm just here to introduce this video because it was a bit random. I start with the food shop haul but I start off in shop two. I don't know where my logic was but anyway we went to Lidl to get the bulk of the shop and then we stopped off at Sainsbury's on the way home to get the things we couldn't get Lidl. So I hope you enjoy and leave me some comments below and I'll see you all soon. Bye. Okay, so secondly we went to Sainsbury's to get the bits we couldn't get in Lidl. Um, so first of all the frozen and then I'll pop this away. So I've got some hash browns. These are really good to have for breakfast or brunch. Just put them in the oven and they're really affordable from Sainsbury's. And my favourite peas are from Sainsbury's as well. So these are just the garden peas. These are like two things I always buy in Sainsbury's. Um, and then got some corn. It wasn't cheap because it never is in a really local but... It's worth it and my thought process with this was we could have it with this Thai green curry sauce which I got as well so I believe that was about two pounds and this was a pound and I love a Thai green, cur Thai green curry and um, we got the fajita kit this is really affordable it's only like 150 and it's a really nice one we love it I also got some Zaflora which I was so excited about this scent they had a couple of different ones but this was just like appealing to me like Christmas smell the sparkling spruce and um, I think it maybe is like a Christmassy one because it's limited edition so I'm excited to try that and um, got some macaroni to have macaroni cheese but we still don't have the flour but never mind so we'll see if we can get that another day and um, some white wine vinegar some mustard this is actually the wrong mustard i wanted dijon mustard but never mind so we'll use that for something else and um, these are for a recipe as well which is some of the chicken stock pot and the chicken stock cubes some digestive thins because they were a pound and um, i forgot my hand soap by the way this is a very important find because you can't seem to find this anywhere now. It's actually antibacterial. Um, I think the reason it wasn't bought, there were five of them, was because there's no pump. But we have this at the sink, so I'm just going to fill it up with this one. But like Stephen and I were saying, we don't really understand this because if you're trying to like be reusable and save plastic, like why would you do this? I don't really get it because it's all plastic minus the pump. I got a couple of these, which are the coriander and lemon couscous. These are great for lunches. I love it. And then some wraps, wheat and white wraps to do our pizza wraps again. So yeah, this was Sainsbury's. Um, this was expensive to be honest. This whole thing came to like 25 pounds. That's what happens when you go to Sainsbury's unfortunately, but everything from Lidl was so much more affordable. But anyway, a couple of really good finds, these three in particular, the hash browns, peas and free tickets. Here we have everything from Lidl, which is spread out amongst two chairs and a table and it came to 48 pounds so that's really good value I think for everything that we've got here I always feel like when I go to Lidl I just I'm so in awe of the value and that makes me want to return because you know Steve and I aren't made of money and we don't earn a lot of money so it's really good to be able to um, cut the money that we do spend on the food shop a little bit the best part here the priority is this chair this is the biscuit chair i am so proud of steven so he went in and did the shopping um because i was having a little bit of a meltdown about it and um, you can follow me on instagram and if you do you'll have seen it there that i was getting myself all worked all worked up so steven went in and did this so he's a little gem he's got an amazing selection here we've got some custard creams cho chocolate chip cookies um club orange then underneath there is kinder buenos i love them uh, chocolate digestives and tonic tea cake. So this will keep us going for a good long while. And he got himself some of the Bakewell slices. He can have them also himself because I'm not a fan. Um, but then we've just got two packs of tissues there. So yeah, this is a great section. Onto the table, got some fry light. We use this every single day. So we needed a new bottle. 12 of the free range eggs in the large. Um, this is a pack of mixed peppers for our fajitas. Spreadable butter for toast butter that's not spreadable for like other things like dishes that we make and stuff and um, sausages we really like having sausages at the moment with mash gravy peas veggies and um, we've got parmesan cheese stuff with our carbonara we've got a couple of cheddar cheeses the reason for that is because we go through it so quickly we use it for everything from fajitas to if i was going to do macaroni unfortunately i can't because i can't find flour but that was the logic um, and also on sandwiches um and pizza wraps we use that as well so we needed quite a lot so we've got a couple of them um mushrooms i'm obsessed with mushrooms at the moment so we've got some more of them for like pizzas and just daily consumption we got some soya unsweetened milk for a recipe which is a vegan mac and cheese which uses these sorry these this <laughs> 
and uh, the cashews. So that's what they're for. So you just got a little bag of them. Some cottage cheese, which was meant to be low-fat cream cheese, but do you know what? Good effort. There wasn't any low-fat cream cheese. I forgot to look for that in Sainsbury's. Never mind. Um, I can use this on my oat cakes. And then we got Hovis, best of both breads. Yep. Some carrots, some beans, parsley and coriander for recipes as well. Beans are for baked potatoes. Um, what's this? So it's a curry jar sauce. So tikka masala, we'll have that with chicken and rice one night. Um, I can also make my own actually, I have a really good recipe for a curry so I can do that another night. We have bananas, which is for my porridge in the mornings and just like snacks and stuff. We've got some fish cakes, it's the smoked haddock melt in the middle fish cakes. Then mince meat under here, it's the 10% fat beef steak mince which is for chilli and also mince and tatties. Um, we've got one in the freezer and one for the chilli. And um, we got some bacon. Stephen loves bacon. We use it in the carbonara as well. And then two of the chickens. These are corn-fed chicken, apparently. Probably just all that was left. Um, but we want one for fajitas and one for a chicken curry. And then down here we've got some mixed vegetables for the freezer because some of our veg is going off because we're just not using it quick enough. So I'm thinking, why don't I just buy some frozen stuff and at least I'm still getting some goodness um, and it's not going off as quickly. So that's the idea with that. And then a big milk to keep us going. And also the most important part, some tonic water. Not just any tonic water, it's low calorie tonic water. Just won't show yet. Anyway, tonic water to go with this gin sitting right here. Um, so yeah, that was everything. As I say, £48 for a little, £25 for Sainsbury's. So all in all, £65, which is really reasonable considering this will do us for two weeks. Because um, I've got like a list of meal things. The only two things I didn't get were a Worcester sauce and flour. Oh, and cream cheese. Um, so I can top them up hopefully uh, closer to the time for that recipe because I'm going to do the creamy garlic chicken I believe it is. I'll leave it linked down below if I can find it. It's a pinch of norm recipe that I really want to try because my dad made it once and it was delicious. Um, but yeah, this is going to keep us going, especially these. Love of my life. I'm going to have a cup of right now and one of these, I do not know which. But anyway, um, I hope you've enjoyed this. I'm sorry that I'm like practically out of breath the whole way through it, but basically I just still feel a little bit on edge and anxious and that makes me kind of like breathless. So anyway, I'm gonna go and chill out, put my pajamas on, and then I'm gonna pop it in the cupboards. And there we go, chill out for the rest of the night. I hope you've enjoyed this. I'll see you soon with another video. Take care everyone, bye. I thought I would share with you this little list of the meals that we have planned. So basically, we bought the shop and based around these meals, if you get me. So they're in no particular order. We will have them based on what we fancy on the day or what needs used up first, but they're just written out for reference. So we have chilli and rice, mince and tatties for Stephen's birthday because it's his favourite, uh, mac and cheese or normal or vegan, um, whatever they are both good depending on the flour but we don't have any flour yet so that is a no-no at the moment sausage mash and peas we love that meal and then we use the sausages for brunch the next day with like beans and egg um, carbonara we can have this twice so it is on the list twice because um, we get the parsley goes like two ways although now we have little parsley plants these little guys are on the windowsill yeah now that we have these little guys um, I can technically get more than two out of like a little pack so hopefully we can grow these for a little while on our windowsill. Below that we have meatballs, we've got them in the freezer and I'll make a homemade tomato sauce. Then we've got a curry one night, we'll have the jar and the chicken or I'll make my own curry depending on what we fancy doing. Baked potatoes um, we'll have with tuna, cheese, beans, whatever we fancy um, and then we've got fish cakes for one night with mash or potatoes and veg. Kumi garlic chicken is a pinch and recipe that I want to try that I was talking about. I'll leave it below if I find it for you. Pizza wraps because we loved these before. They're so easy to make. They were in my last what I eat in a day if you want to go have a look at that. Um, and then lentil dal. This is a Madeleine Olivia recipe. It's really, really nice. Um, you can make it either with coconut milk or chopped tomatoes. This time I'm going to make it with coconut milk because the last time I couldn't get any. Um, but now I'm going to try it with that and it has fresh coriander on it. Um, we've obviously spoken about the carbonara and then finally a Thai curry. We've got that jar which we'll have with the corn and rice and then a 
pasta dish that's called bingo pasta because my family named it that, don't ask. Uh, but yeah, basically this is our 14 meals. We really only plan for dinners and then we just find something in the house for lunch and breakfast, like cereal and toast for breakfast, porridge, and then um, whatever for lunch. We, we're not massive on lunch, to be honest. Um, and this is all what they are, which is a bit random, but R for rice, PA for pasta, and PO for potatoes, because I wanted to see like how many we were having of each. Um, but yeah, I hope this gives you some meal inspo. I just thought it'd be fun to share this with you, and like that's basically how we organize our shop, as we plan dinners. Um, and obviously, if you're a big lunch person, plan based around that as well. Um, but generally, we're not really. But anyway, I hope you have enjoyed this. Thank you so, so much for watching, and I'll see you very soon. If you want some other meal inspo, you can check out my What I Eats in a Day, which come before this, there's been quite a few. And yeah, I'll see you soon, guys. Bye.